another Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Holly and today I'm going to show you how to make a platypus out of balloons. That's right. I don't get asked for platypuses often, but when I do, people are really impressed that I know how to make one or that I've even done it before. So, usually when I make a platypus, I make them purple. I don't know why. I just feel like platypuses, platypli, platypi? I don't know how to say that plural. I'm going to say platypuses, platypus, plat, whatever. <laughs> I think they should be purple. So, I'm going to use a purple balloon for this platypus. And I'm going to blow this balloon up about six or seven pumps. Oh, there's a little half pump there. Six and a half. Okay. So I've got about four fingers width of a tail there at the end. I'm going to start with his head. So, at the very beginning, I'm just going to do a small little round bubble. This is going to go on top of his head. And I'm going to work on his face. So I'm going to do about a three inch bubble. Do another three inch bubble, bring those together, like so. And you're going to squeeze this to learn, make it soft. Hold it down, do another three inch bubble, and roll through for a little bird body. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for his body, just a little bit longer. So maybe a four or five inch bubble. Hold that up, twist together. Make another four inch five bubble. Bring it down and roll through. Okay, the rest of this is going to be his um, big flat like beaver tail type thing. So you should have a little tiny bit at the end here. Just Hold on to that, bring it up here, twist it around, and kind of pull it in through the, through the bird body a couple times and lock it in place there. Okay? And you can kind of mess with the shape a little bit to make it however you want it to look. So I'm going to do it like that. So that's our platypus body. Now we're going to work on his eyes and his beak and his feet. So I like to do the beak next. I'm going to take a yellow for that and blow it up about four pumps, not too much. Okay, and for the beak, I'm just going to do about a, a, just a small loop here, about that big. And then you're going to make a large loop, about the same size as my hand, and squeeze it. Before you twist this together, squeeze it, make it nice and soft and then twist it, and since this is nice and soft, then we can give it some shape, like that. Okay, and then we're going to make another loop the same size as this one. And that's all for the beak, so get rid of the rest. Get rid of that, and just wrap this tail around here to keep it from coming in then. Okay, so this is our platypus beak. Um, but it should go on the balloon and not on your face, okay? <laughs> Alright, so take our beak and you're going to, this might be a little tricky if you're not used to working with balloons, um, but we're going to stick it on right here. So, I take the loops here basically and I bring them behind the head and then switch places. So there's a little Now we're going to do his feet, so for that I'm going to take another yellow balloon and platypi has webbed feet. I'm going to say the plural form of platypus a different way every time in this video. <laughs> Alright, so for his feet we're going to do a small round bubble and we're going to give him some webbed feet. They're going to kind of look good. So we're going to do like a one and a half, two inch bubble, and then do a small pinch twist. Just like that. you got to keep holding on to this little one here at the beginning or it'll um, come undone. Okay? Now we're going to do another small bubble, and then another pinch twist. So we're going to pinch twist this bubble right here. Like that. And you're going to bring all this back down together. And that will be one platypus foot. Okay, I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to do the same exact thing one more time. So it's going to have two webbed feet. 
So we do a one and a half two inch bubble, a small pinch twist, a small bubble, and then another small pinch twist like this, twist that, and then bring this back together. Okay? And then you can do another small bubble here out at the end and get rid of the rest of this. Hope you caught all that. So this is what his feet look like. And um, I heard that platypuses have thorn or like, um, not thorns, but claws on the back of their feet. So you say these are the claws. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna attach his feet to his tail. So I'm just gonna take him from behind and just kind of squeeze them up front here. makes this pop, <laughs> no pun intended, is I'm going to give him some eyes with a white balloon. If you're in a hurry, you could just draw the eyes on to the purple, but I think it looks better when you take the extra time to be white. So, just blow up a little a balloon, just a little bit. We're not going to use it all. Take the nozzle and wrap it into uh, the bottom of his head here around his beak. There we go. And just squeeze that balloon, bring it up, and twist it into that little ball we left on top of his head. And then fold it back down. And twist it all around in his feet. Like this, and get rid of the rest. Tuesday by me and uh, I like to keep my balloons pretty quick and simple for parties and stuff so um, if you like that kind of twisting that's practical and fun and still cute then I think you'll like my videos so stay tuned and I will see you guys next Tuesday thank you for watching bye